All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, exploit the uh, vulnerability that we just went ahead and configured on the example application. So uh, first thing we're going to want to do is uh, search struts. This is going to bring up all the exploit modules that you can utilize. The particular one that I wanted to go ahead and use is uh, this one right here. So um, a little bit outdated at this point, uh, but uh, we're going to do use. Uh, just paste that there. All right. Uh, now we do show options. Uh, this is going to show you all the parameters that you need to configure in order to, to execute the exploit. So um, our host uh, is the first thing that we want to do. So we want to do set our host. Uh, we got it configured to 192.168.29.201. Uh, all right, we can do show options. Uh, okay, now uh, the default port, which is our port, uh, is 8080. Um, that's actually, uh, that's, you know, already accurate so uh, we need to go ahead and set up the URI um, this is the location of the resource on the server that uh, you, you're going ahead and exploiting so we're going to do set URI paste that there now we can do show options again we have all that configured vhost would be in the event that you have uh, you know your, your target host is uh, you know pushing out multiple applications within it um, we only have one application deployed on it, so uh, it's not beneficial to go ahead and configure that at all. Uh, now what we want to do is set target to 1, uh, just because its uh, underlying OS is uh, Linux, so um, do show options one more time. Uh, we got that configured, so let's do uh, show payloads. Uh, this is going to show you all the payloads available to you based on the exploit module that you're using and uh, the target, which is Linux Universal. That brings up all the exploit modules. Uh, you have, uh, essentially, you know, you, you can do, um, just discuss a bind TCP and a reverse TCP connection a little bit. Uh, you're not going to be able to establish, uh, now if you have, uh, you know, your, your target host is sitting on a public IP, um, you're not going to be able to go ahead and establish a reverse TCP connection unless you also have a public IP. Now, if you're at a netted RFC 1918 address, uh, you can establish a, um, you know, with the public IP, a bind TCP connection. Uh, or if you're exploiting, uh, you know, let's say you're in the same network as uh, the, the target application, uh, both, you know, netted at RFC 1918 addresses, you can establish a, you know, a reverse TCP connection. So let's go ahead and do set payload. Uh, we're going to do uh, meta interpreter bind TCP. Um, paste that right there. All right, now we need to show options again. All right, everything is pretty much configured correctly here. Let's go ahead and do exploit. All right, so we have a, a session established. We can do a series of things. Uh, we can. Uh, right where we're in, let's do ls minus al. Uh, that goes ahead and pushes out all the uh, information uh, within the directory that you're in. Uh, let's go ahead and pop into the root, and we'll do ls again. Okay, uh, that's all that. Uh, let's do, um, I don't know. All right, anyway, um, let's close up that connection. Let's do show options again. Now we're going to do show payloads. Now, considering we're uh, both, you know, RFC 1918 addresses, uh, you know, the machine that I'm exploiting it from and uh, the target application, um, let's establish a reverse TCP connection. Uh, MetaTripper, all right, let's do set payload. All right, now let's do show options again. We have lhost. Uh, the lhost is, we're gonna go ahead and specify our own address there. So if we do, if config, my address is, all right. So we wanna do set. All right, show options. And then one more time, we're gonna do exploit. Um, and we got a reverse TCP connection configured. So uh, again, we can enter whatever command we want. 